Welcome to our next Wondering Walk Tour. This time we're headed towards Dodge City, Kansas. Dodge City was once a bustling frontier town where visiting cowboys and locals could get away with just about anything. Now, Dodge City carries a reputation for preserving that famous Old West history. It's cowboy country. A visit to Dodge City will put you on the streets that were walked by Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday. Our walk begins in Dodge City on the original site of Front Street. On this site once stood a row of wooden structures that was the central business district of Old Dodge City. The buildings housed numerous saloons and trading establishments frequented by Buffalo soldiers and cowboys. Some businesses located on this site were the Wright and Beverly store, the Long Branch Saloon, and F.C. Zimmerman Hardware Store. Firearms were not allowed north of the railroad tracks called the Deadline. In the mid-1880s, multiple fires destroyed the wood buildings, resulting in the town rebuilding in, in brick. The red brick building you see in front of us was once the Postal Telegraph Office. The Postal Telegraph Office building was built in 1916 with several other commercial buildings built along the same block. As you walk the streets of Dodge City, you will notice several uh, round circles in the concrete. This is kind of their walk of fame. Uh, to represent many of the Old West and New West uh, people who made Dodge City famous. Here you can find stars or plaques for various outlaws, cowboys, movie stars, and so on and so forth. Buffalo hunter, teamster, lawman, gambler, and saloon keeper. Wyatt Berry Stapp Earth served as the assistant city marshal in 1876 through 1878 in Dodge City. He, was brief, he briefly was Ford County's deputy sheriff under Sheriff Bat Masterson in 1878 before leaving for Las Vegas, New Mexico. Earp returned to Dodge City as a member of the Dodge City P Police Commission in 1883. Across the street is the Santa Fe Depot. Built in 1897 with an addition added in 1898, the Richardson Romanesque architecturally styled depot once housed a famed Harvey, Harvey House restaurant and hotel. In fact, it was the largest Harvey House in Kansas. Construction of the depot used 500,000 bricks. The basement held a boi boiler room, root cellar, coal house, storeroom, and laundry. The first floor contained the express offices, baggage rooms, ladies and gents, waiting room, lunch counter, dining room, hotel office, kitchen, and storeroom. There was also kind of a hotel on the top that had 28 sleeping units. 
This brick building across the street from us is known as the Dodge Theater Building. This was one of the first Spanish-style theaters in the West. The Dodge Theater was constructed in 1929. It was also the first theater to add air conditioning and the first to purify the air during the Dust Bowl years. The theater was built not only for movies, but for stage performances as well. In April 1939, the Dodge Theater, one of three theaters in Dodge City, played host to the most spectacular and first ever Hollywood world premiere to occur outside of Hollywood. The movie Dodge City brought over 40 Hollywood stars into Dodge City, including the film's leading actors. Dedicated to Dodge City resident Martha Elizabeth Betty Muncie, a volunteer and benefactor of the community who donated this land for this park to the city of Dodge City and named it Eisenhower Park in recognition of President Dwight D. Eisenhower. Here's a great example of one of the plaques on the Walk of Fame in Dodge City. This particular plaque is for Amanda Blake. Uh, Amanda was best known for her 19 years as Kitty Russell, owner of the Long Branch Saloon on Gunsmoke. She was born Beverly Louise Neal in Buffalo, New York in 1929. A lifelong animal lover, Amanda was deeply involved in the Performing Animal Welfare Society in Galt, California, which she helped found and support. This large building with the mural on it is the former First National Bank in Dodge City. It also is Dodge City's first skyscraper at six story, stories tall. It was built in 1932 and has this massive stagecoach painting on it. The building ahead of us is the Car Carnegie Art Center. The former Carnegie Library was constructed in 1907 with a grant from the Andrew Carnegie Foundation. 
It features a rare corner entrance and rounded architectural features which established the Car Carnegie Library in Dodge City as one of the more unique Carnegie Libraries in the nation. As again mentioned, the structure is now home to the Dodge City Area Arts Council Community Arts Center. This large statue in front of us is called La Salsa Man. La Salsa Man is a 26 foot tall sculpture that was commissioned by the late actor Dennis Hopper. The Carnegie Center for the Arts and, and the Dodge City Area Arts Council accepted the donation from Mr. Hopper uh, on April 15, 2013.
Early day pioneer dentist Dr. O.H. Simpson sculpted this cowboy sculpture in 1927 to commemorate the Dodge City Cowboy era and the cattle drives. Simpson used a live model, Joe Shugru, to form plaster of Paris molds for a sculpture. Shugru was a former cowboy and later a marshal of Dodge City. The building ahead of us, now called the Boot Hill Distillery, was once the former municipal building in Dodge City. The building opened in 1925 and initially housed city offices, the city jail, police, and fire stations until the 1960s. Of Spanish mission style architecture, the structure retains remnants of an earlier city hall built in 1888, then demolished when town fathers constructed this building. Rescued from the 1888 City Hall is a buffalo head over the doorway of the building. Boot Hill Distri Distri Distillery continues this legacy of Boot Hill and Dodge City in this building. Across the brick street is the Kansas Teacher Hall of Fame and Gunfighters Wax Museum. Exhibits dedicated to early and present day Kansas teachers who have devoted their lives to this fine profession. The Wax Museum features life-size figures of famous Old West individuals. We're now walking past the Boot Hill Museum and Cemetery, a replica of the 1870s and 1880s famous Front Street in Western history. The museum uh, complex is located on the original site of Boot Hill Cemetery. Take a look at uh, some of my other videos and you can see a full walkthrough of this particular museum. Built in 1903 by the Baldwin Locomotive Works in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, for a cost of $19,846 is this steam engine. It has a boiler that holds 8,500 gallons of water. The boiler was heated by burning oil. The oil tank has a capacity of 3,300 gallons. This particular locomotive during its life traveled more than 1 million miles.
Dentist, gambler, and gunfighter, John Henry Doc Holliday arrived in Dodge City in early 1878 with his love interest, Big, Big Nose Kate, and practiced dentistry in room 27 at the Dodge House Hotel. He saved Wyatt Earp from a saloon shooting that September and left for Las Vegas and Mexico later that year. Immediately south of, his, uh, of this location was the location of the Dodge House Hotel where he lived. This small uh, depot that you see was once the Santa Fe Depot in Sitka, Kansas. It was built in the 1930s in Sitka, which is about 60 miles southeast of Dodge City. It, it, was, it was eventually moved to Ashland, Kansas, where it housed a small railroad museum before being transferred to the Boot Hill Museum in the 1970s. We end up our tour here in Dodge City with this statue of James Arness. Arness played uh, Marshal Matt Dillon in, the, in over 617 episodes of Gunsmoke, the longest running TV series, Western TV series in U.S. history. Arness was born in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and won a Purple Heart during World War II. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Dodge City, learning a little bit about its history and the people that made Dodge City famous, and hope you join us for our next video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.